Hello everyone, welcome to Gotham Digital Learning. I'm Musab, your trainer for Linux, AWS and DevOps. In today's session, we are going to learn about how to get a free account from AWS. Now, first of all, let me give you a brief overview that what exactly AWS is. AWS actually stands for Amazon Web Service and it is a cloud service provider who provides so many services over the cloud. For our DevOps classes, learning a cloud is now mandatory because all our important tools we are going to run on cloud only. So we are going to learn how to work with DevOps on cloud with AWS. So what AWS has done is they have introduced the first cloud in the history. In the year 2002, AWS launched its services, but they did not make it public. In the year 2006, they launched their first cloud product. And after that, in 2012, they hold their first event, declaring their revenue of around 4.6 billion. And in 2016, they have surpassed the target of $10 billion across the world. And by this today's time, 2023, they are nearly $25 billion company, one of the biggest cloud company in the market. And so many important services they have released, around more than 300 services what they are having. AWS provide all their offerings in the form of service. So they call it service. Maybe you wanted to create a virtual machine, there is a service. Maybe you wanted to go for containers, there is a service. Maybe you wanted to go for IoT, there is a service. For every different offering, they call it service. And by this time, you are having more than 300 services that are available. Now, very few services I can show you in this slide out of 300. Like you see, for compute, you have EC2, Lambda, Container, so many others. Same way you have network services, you have analytic services, developers tool, management tool, security and identity, storage and content delivery, and so on. For every need of the end user, they provide one service. You just name it and you find a service available on AWS. That's the real beauty of working with cloud. Now, who uses AWS? The most common usage what we use is for web hosting, application hosting, SaaS hosting, media sharing, mobile and social application, content delivery, media distribution, storage and backup, disaster recovery. So many concepts are there what for we use AWS. Also guys, if you look at, there are so many companies who uses AWS. Like you can find Instagram, Netflix, Twitch, LinkedIn, Facebook, Turner Broadcasting, Zoopla, SmugMug, so many, so many are there who uses the concept of AWS. Now, one more beautiful thing about AWS is it provides a free tier account. Now, what is this free tier account? See, free tier account is going to give you an experimental account so that you can use few services of AWS completely free of cost for one year. And for whom this free account is available? See, this free tier account is available for everyone. Now, maybe you are a company, maybe you are an individual, maybe you are a student, it doesn't matter. Whoever you are for experimenting, for putting your things into cloud, they provide you a free tier account that is valid for 12 months. Now, in this, there are certain limits that you must not cross. Within that limit, you can use it, you can do all your experiments and you can be confident about whether to keep it into cloud or not. Mostly, you will be very much satisfied moving with the things on cloud. So here we have some services, which is 12 month free. There are few services that are always free. There are few services which are available on trial. And as I told you, it is available for everyone, whether you are a Fortune 500 company or you are a small organization or individual, doesn't matter. 
Let us learn how to get a free account from AWS. See, in this case, you need to go to Amazon's website, which is aws.amazon.com. Now, when we go to this website, over here, it will ask you to create a free account. Maybe over here or here, wherever you like, you can just click it and it is going to take you to the registration page. On the registration page, it is going to ask you few questions. See, in my case, I already have an account, but still, I just show you what are the steps that are available. For this, I have already created one screenshot page. So discussing that would be more easier for us. See, first of all, you need to provide a valid email address and also you have to verify it. So give your email address, whatever it might be. It doesn't require to be in a corporate email. It can be your Gmail address. It can be your Hotmail address or any email addresses of your choice. So give your email address and give an account name. How do you want to name it? And next step is you have to verify your email address. So once you say verify, you will be getting a verification link in your email address, clicking on which it is going to verify your email address. After that, you need to provide a root password. And this password must be a little complex password. Easy passwords it may not accept. So maybe you can use some capital letters, some small letters, some special characters, however you want. Now, why do we call it as root account? Because root is the most powerful user that allows you to do anything. It's like an administrator. So AWS call it root. Now, once you set the password, the next step, it will ask you to provide some personal details. Like you can see, it will ask you your username. It will ask you your mobile number and even mobile number has to be verified. Then your country of origin and your address, the city where you are going to, the billing address going to be, state, postal code and everything. Now, once you say continue to next step, it is going to ask you to provide some credit card or debit card detail. Now, please do not worry. They are not going to charge you anything unless you approve it. So over here, they are only going to deduct two rupees in Indian currency just to verify your debit card and credit card is working or not. And guys, they are not going to deduct a single penny without your permission. People get frightened over here that I'm giving my debit or credit card detail. What if tomorrow if they deduct the money? No. Even if you don't pay bills, if it is in the thousands of rupees as well, they are not going to deduct a single money. So please don't get frightened and don't have to be worried about it. Here, you just need to provide your debit credit card details, CVV, and just two rupees will be deducted with your permission. Now, once you have confirmed the payment, last thing is to verify your mobile number. They are going to call you or they are going to send a text message what you have to confirm, which we call it as OTP. Now, once you have confirmed the password, it will ask you the last thing, what type of support you want. Now here, as we are working under free tier limit, better to choose basic plan, which is free of cost. But for organizations, either you go for developer or enterprise support, which will be more expedite and more faster responses. Anyway, within free tier limit, we don't really have to worry. We are okay with basic support. Now, once you say complete sign up, and it is done, it's finished. Now, once you are done, the next thing it will ask you to log in. So normally, if you want to log in, go to aws.amazon.com. Over here, there is an option sign in. Now, in sign in, you can provide your username and password. Like I have one account, I'll give the username and password for my account. First of all, my email address. That is going to be my root user credential. Let's go to next. Don't use IAM. Continue with root user. Go to next and provide here the password. The password is whatever you have kept, right? Let me type my password and I'll say sign in. See, the moment you sign in, 
it is going to provide you the screen something like that. Over here, if you click on services, you are going to find so many services available over here. So this is how you can register your account and you can log in. For the new account, you have to wait for a couple of hours till your account is completely active. Immediately, as soon as you create account, it is not going to be activated. Once the account is created, give it a couple of hours. After that, you will get an email saying that your account is now ready and you can start using it. So I hope that you have found this video useful to know how to register your account with AWS. We'll stop the session here and tomorrow or day after whatever, we are going to continue with next step. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to explore more in AWS account and how to create your virtual machines and all other things. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video.